If you're in the market for a small SUV, well, you're spoilt for choice. It's one of the most popular segments and the Hyundai iX35 is smashing it in the sales departments. So why is it such a standout seller? Let's take a closer look at the top spec Highlander. Now this is at the larger end of the small SUV segment, which I think contributes to its popularity. Overall, I just think it looks fantastic. I love those aggressive headlights and the alloy wheels. And the roofline looks like it was designed with these roof racks in mind. On the other hand though, these big oversized side protectors, the longer you stare at them, the stranger they look. Well, let's see what it's like inside. Inside it is a little bit of a mixed bag. There is a lot of this hard plasticky stuff around, but the seats are quite comfortable. They're nice and high, giving you good visibility. But you do also have a reversing camera that comes up nice and clear in this seven inch touchscreen. It does come standard with sat nav as well, though you need to watch that. It did get a little bit confused in the tunnels. It started giving me directions for what's up above the surface. The dash, it's well laid out. The media system's excellent. They're quite easy to use. When it comes to space, as you can see, there's more than enough, though it's not class leading. Neither is the boot size, but there is one obvious plus, the sunroof. And the sun is shining. It's the perfect time to go for a drive. This is a two litre turbo diesel and it is quite a nice drive. The engine's relatively smooth revving and there's not a lot of turbo lag. The transmission offers quick gear changes and it's fairly quiet for a diesel. The ride really is quite firm. You will feel all of those little sharp bumps and edges around town. Many of its competitors actually offer a more comfortable suspension setup, but get it out in the country and on the open roads and you'll find it a lot more accommodating. Also like the all-wheel drive, it gives you that little bit of extra peace of mind, particularly in the wet weather or on rough surfaces. The other thing worth mentioning is fuel economy, 7.2 litres per 100 kilometres. That's not too bad. So if you've got your eye on one of these top spec iX35s with a turbo diesel engine, you can expect to pay a little bit more, $40,990 before on-road costs but I think it just looks gorgeous. That's why it made 24.1% of the small SUV sales for April. So does it deserve its top spot on the podium? The people have spoken.